Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. Got a little excited opening the shipping box and almost cut through the actual box of this phone. So definitely excited to uh, take a look at it. This is the X90 Pro from Vivo, their latest flagship phone. Now their camera system features a 50 megapixel lens with Sony's latest one inch sensor on the back. So excited to actually test out that wide angle lens with this camera system. It also has a telephoto, also has a wide angle lens. With that one inch sensor, since it's a little bit larger, it's expected to allow more light to go in to improve that low light photography. And just in general, I'm excited to take some pictures with this phone. Uh, the Vivo X80 was really good at it. Anyways, we'll take a quick look what comes in the box and then get some hands-on with this latest flagship phone. Let's get started. Here is the X90 Pro from Vivo, co-engineered with Zeiss. There's that cut I was talking about. Anyways, opening up the box, let's see what we get. First of all, there's the phone. We're gonna set that to the side for just a second. Continuing through, you get a SIM ejection tool on top of that. Looks like we have some extras. Uh, we do get a clear case. Right there, big circle cut out for that camera uh, module and a booklet. Next up, we have our charging cable, which is USB Type-C to USB Type-C. And taking a look, yes, it does come with a charging brick, uh, fairly large because it charges all the way up to 120 watts via USB uh, Type-C. Let's peel the plastic off, revealing that back, obviously in a black color. Has a nice soft texture to it. Anyways, we are going to power on this device and while it boots up, let's take a closer look at this hardware. Down at the bottom, SIM card slot, microphone, USB Type-C port, and one of our speakers. Moving along, on the right side is our power button, volume rockers. Make note of that camera bump, fairly uh, prominent actually, it does stick out, but again, you got to make room for that large one inch sensor. Up at the top says professional photography. Looks like we have an IR blaster. I love to see that big props for that. A microphone and just another look at that module. And then on the left side, as you can see that screen does have a curve to it. Absolutely nothing along the left side. Close look at that texture on the back says Vivo. I'm moving along extreme imagination with a Zeiss logo and information about the lenses and there is our camera setup on the X90 Pro. First of all, a 50 megapixel, one inch sensor, Sony IMX 989. So really excited to test out some photography, some shots. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, I'll put some pictures there. 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a 50 megapixel telephoto lens that zooms in two times optically. Worth noting, there is a pre-installed screen protector on this device. It's hard to tell. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is one. Anyways, I'm gonna run through the startup process, talk about anything that's noteworthy. You do have the option for fingerprint or face unlock. I'm gonna set up that fingerprint scanner. All right, this is an in-display fingerprint scanner. Just setting our finger on down, setting it up. Uh, I do like the haptics, pretty solid. Very premium feeling haptics when I was typing, and it's giving me haptic feedback now while setting this up. Fingerprint added, you can add more if you'd like to. I'm gonna continue through. This does have Fun Touch OS on top of Android. Congratulations, your phone is ready. Use now, we are on the home screen. This is a 6.78 inch, 2800 by 1260 resolution phone, AMOLED display at 120 hertz, which is definitely enabled, I can already tell. Going into settings very quickly, scrolling down. There's a lot of different ones. We'll check out some of those in just a second, but wanted to make sure. Okay, so out of the box, it does have a 1080p resolution set, which will help save battery life, but you have to switch it if you'd like to take full advantage of that resolution. And then screen refresh rate is on smart switch, so it will uh, optimize depending on the type of content is shown. I'd probably recommend that. Uh, you can crank it all the way up and force 120 hertz as well or bump it down to 60 hertz if you'd like to save a little bit of battery life. All right, let's go into the camera application and snap a few quick pictures for us. There we go. You can go to the uh, ultra wide angle lens at 0.6 and there is that two times zoom again. Uh, this is optical, so no digital zoom there, but let's see how far you can actually zoom in. So you can zoom in all the way up to 40 times digitally. So I pressed the Zeiss button up top and there's a Zeiss natural color mode and it looks like uh, it won't oversaturate the colors. It'll make it look a little bit more natural to how it looks to your eye. So you can just toggle that on and off by pressing this button. 
You also have a super macro option. You can turn that on, off, or on auto. Anyways, going through some of our settings, including portrait, night, sports mode, if you're shooting a lot of movement, Vivo's V2 chip will help enhance your video at night or, you know, with HDR mode. Uh, let's go and check what resolution we can shoot in, all the way up to 8K resolution, 8K 24 frames a second, or of course 4K 60. You do have your pro mode, and jumping into more, here are all of the different camera modes that you can take advantage of, including an astro mode, a Zeiss landscape and architecture, a miniature effect. Uh, so if you take a picture of something like a street out in the distance, this will be fun to try. You'll see how it kind of makes it seem miniature. So just a unique way to uh, take advantage of this of the camera. But anyways, I'm excited to take some shots with this camera system. I expect uh, it to be very, very good. So uh, we'll test that out in a little bit and I'll give some more feedback once I actually test it. Uh, anyways, onto that fingerprint scanner. Very, very quick and snappy if I press in the right spot. Uh, you don't need to actually turn the screen on. It will recognize when you set it down or you can tap the screen. You'll see it shows up there. Whoops, missed it there. Anyways, seems to be very accurate. Some nice short haptic feedback when it unlocks. Swiping down, you do get your quick shortcuts, a group of different ones, but let's dive into some more extra settings. Didn't actually mean to press the search button there. You can customize the style of your phone. They have dynamic effects. So for things such as weather, backgrounds, interface, uh, ambient light effects, if you have a time for the ambient light effect, that's interesting music, incoming calls, notifications. There's a lot to customize, including home screen transition, fingerprint icon animation, if you'd like to change that, face re recognition, charging animation, all that good stuff. They have an ultra game mode with a sidebar eSports mode to minimize, optimize display and your frame rate and temperature. 4D game vibration, very interesting with some competitive games, can simulate game scenario effects. So that'll be fun to try out. Almost forgot, just put on our case, just a clear case. You can still see whatever color you want. The left side is covered. The buttons on the right side are covered as well. Just some cutouts, everything's looking good, and obviously cut out for that big camera module. Other than that, that's just about everything I want to talk about for now with the X90 Pro from Vivo. Again, big highlight on that one inch sensor with the camera. I do expect some very good pictures to be taken, so excited to try it out. Anyways, be sure to subscribe, a lot more content coming soon. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and as always, thanks for watching.